how to move existing digital ocean resources into our new project. The first thing you need to do is sign into your digital ocean account to be taken to your digital ocean dashboard. Once here, click on the project that contains the resource that you would like to move. For me, that project is called tutorials, which I'm currently already viewing. In here, I'm using one digital ocean service and that's the digital ocean droplet. This droplet is called test-server. To move this droplet into a new project, I'm first going to need to create a new project. To do this, navigate to the left hand side and click on new project. You'll then be on the new project creation screen. At the very top, you'll need to pick a name for your project. So I'm just going to call my project game server. Once you've chosen a name, you can add a description if you want, and you can tell DigitalOcean the purpose of your new project. So I'm just going to click on this drop down arrow here, and I'm going to select Other, which is at the very bottom here. You can also give some further detail in the text box below if you want. Once you've done filling in the information for your new project, click on create project. You'll then be greeted with this window which says move resources into game server, which is the name of my new project. Move existing apps, droplets, spaces, load balances, domains, or reserved IPs into your new project. So you can start typing to find and select existing resources. You can skip for now also if you want, or you can just simply click on this box and find the resource that you want to move. Now, of course, for me, the resource that I want to move is called test-server. So I'm just going to click on it here to select it and then I'm going to click off that box. You don't actually need to move resources immediately using this box here. You can skip for now and then do it later. I'll also show you how to do this in the alternative way right after we move the test server resource. So once you've selected the resource you want to move into your new project, just click on move resources. Of course, you can select as many resources in this box that you'd like to move. Once done, in my game server project, I now see, and you'll also see, the resource that you moved. For me, it's this digital ocean droplet called test server. And now if I click on tutorial, Tutorials, you can see there's no resources currently in here. It's just given us the Welcome to Digital Ocean page. I'm now going to click back on the Game Server project to be taken back to my list of resources in this project. I'm now going to show you how you can move a resource once you have already created a new project. To do this, to the right hand side of the Digital Ocean resource that you'd like to move, click on the three horizontal dots. Once you've done that, click on move to. You'll then be greeted with your list of projects. For me, I have two. I have one called Websplaining and I have another called Tutorials. Tutorials is the project I showed you at the start. I'm going to click on Tutorials. Once you've selected the project that you'd like to move the resource to, just click on move and then your project name. In my case, is Tutorials. And as you can see at the top right, it gives us a notification that test-server was moved to tutorials. And now if I click on the tutorials project, we can now see my digital ocean droplet called test-server, which means we have successfully moved this digital ocean droplet once again. All right, so that pretty much concludes the video on how to move existing digital ocean resources into a new project. I also showed you how to create a new digital ocean project. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so